Hi there, just for sweets here. Today I'm going to do something really simple. I'm going to do simple syrup. Simple syrup can be used for iced tea. Um, you know, when you uh, have your iced tea and it's cold, a lot of times sugar doesn't dissolve right, so you can use a simple syrup in there instead to sweeten your tea. Um, I use it a lot of times for my cakes. I brush it on the cake layers before I fill them and it just helps keep the cake layers soft and moist and adds a little bit of flavor and sweetness to them. Um, it, they can be used for mixed drinks, uh, lemonade, any kind of thing. So I'm making ours now and I'm just gonna make a cup of simple syrup. And I'm actually gonna flavor mine with pure vanilla because I want a vanilla simple syrup to be used. Um, I have a cake order tonight and I'm doing a cake. So I wanna brush that on my cake. So this is gonna be strictly, the vanilla simple syrup is gonna be strictly for my cakes. And you know, maybe if I wanted to make like a cocktail or something. But, so what I've done is I have one cup of water that I put on the stove top in a, in a saucepan here and it's boiling. I started boiling it before making the video. So that's all that is, is about, I did about a cup and an eighth of water just because when you boil it starts evaporating. So it's boiling now, we have one cup of granulated sugar and we are going to slowly pour that in here and we're gonna start mixing. And you wanna mix that into your boiling water and you wanna just mix until the cloudiness goes away. And as you can see, it was cloudy when I first put it in there and now the cloudiness is going away. You don't wanna overcook it because if you do, then it's gonna start turning into candy and getting too hard. I'm going to automatically add really quick about a half a teaspoon of vanilla to this. And I'm using pure vanilla extract. Let's come back a little bit. Oh, went the wrong way, sorry guys. All right, we're gonna stir that, okay? It's not cloudy anymore, it's clear. I want you to see this, it's just a clear liquid except for the vanilla extract that I put in there. We're gonna turn this off because that's how simple it is. It's completely done. Stir that up. If it starts to get cloudy again or gets any kind of, uh, you know, of a cloudy look to it after you've cleared it, then that just means that you're cooking it too long. So you just want to make sure that you don't overcook it because the last thing you want is a mess on your hands. You want this to be exactly what it's called, simple syrup. So we are going to just go ahead and pour this. I'm going to see if I can find my funnel. I might not be able to. Probably not. Oh, there it is. just to make it so I don't burn myself. And we're gonna pour that right into this canning jar here. I don't even know if I have a big enough canning jar. I might have to use two, but that's okay. And then that way I have my simple syrup. And as you can see, mine, it should be completely clear, but because I added vanilla to it, it's got a little bit of a, of a yellowy tinge or light brown tinge to it. That's just the vanilla in there. So I'm gonna let that cool and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that lid on top and I'll label it my vanilla simple syrup. And then when I make my cake today, I'm gonna brush that on top of my cake layers. Now for some little alternates you could do, maybe uh, if you wanted like a lemon simple syrup, you could put a little bit of lemon extract in there or if you'd rather have fresh lemon, I would squeeze the lemon, make sure you don't get any seeds in there. Maybe squeeze about a teaspoon or two of lemon into your simple syrup mixture to give it a, that would be awesome for iced tea and for mixed drinks. Um, if you want an almond flavor, use the almond extract. You know, you could, there's a million things you can do with it. So create your own if you want to, but that's just the basic recipe and then you add what you like and use it how you like. Um, I hope you had fun with this. This is my very first time making simple syrup, so I, ha I really had fun. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And until next time, God bless.